Hello, I'm Maureen Eulers with Search Engine Journal. Here in San Francisco with Jonathan from Flipora.com. Now this is essentially, I see it as a search engine uh, which provides content based on what you engage with. And you're now up to 30 million users a month. How did that come about? Yeah, so uh, Flipora is essentially a recommendation engine that recommends websites to users based on their interests. It's um, slightly different from a search engine because with a search engine, a user has to tell the system what they're interested in. With Flipora, we have uh, very sophisticated machine learning algorithms that automatically predict what a user would be interested in and uh, recommends websites to users on those uh, topics without the user having to search. And um, my co-founder Vijay and I started uh, Flipora when we were grad students at Stanford about uh, uh, five years back. And uh, we've been doubling in users year on year. Um, we uh, recently crossed um, uh, 30 million users. And today we are growing by about uh, 2 million user users a month. So it's been crazy keeping up with the growth. Now, uh, for the traditional well, our website optimization industry, they've been focusing on optimizing obviously on search terms a lot and, uh, and links. How are you selecting which content to provide? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so Flipora's algorithms first do what's called personalization, where we figure out what websites you're interested in based on the websites that you browse. So for example, you, Murray, like based on your web browsing history in the last week, Flipora may learn that you're interested in search engine optimization, search engine ranking, and I don't know, maybe golf. And um, now that we know these are your interests, Flipora matches that with the interests of its 30 million other users. And rest assured, there's somebody else in the world who has um, interests similar to yours. Maybe they are browsing great web pages on golf and search engine optimization. And then we would recommend uh, those websites to you. So that strikes me that you need to do two things. You need to uh, be writing great content because you're going to be recommending great content on presumably on what people share and, and stay on. Uh, that is correct. So time page is going to count. That, that is correct. And some of the signals that we use uh, to figure out like when content bubbles to the top is when, when we make a website recommendation to a user, we try to calculate how likely a user is to positively engage with the content. And that means liking it, sharing it, time spent on the page, and so on. And if uh, a piece of content is being positively engaged with, that automatically comes higher in the ranking and is more likely to be shown to other users who have that same interest. And what's really rewarding for us is that we see these articles from aspiring writers in, in Africa and in Asia, and these people creating great pieces of content and when they share it on Flipora, um, Flipora, if, it's, if, and if our users engage with it, we drive a lot of traffic to them and they monetize their websites with some ads from AdSense and others. And it feels good to us to encourage the creation of quality content by letting these quality publishers and quality writers get discovered. Presumably also, in some senses, buying traffic to your site will expose it to more readers, and therefore you're more likely to be discovered by more Flipora readers, and therefore that could also potentially uh, help your um, engagement level, do you think? Uh, that's a great idea. Like, uh, it's in fact one of the ways in which we intend to monetize in the future. Um, I mean, the, the reason the AdWords model works so well is it lets a user who has a certain intent maybe this user is interested in digital cameras, connect with an advertiser who has something that this user really, really wants. And the advertiser and the user are connected at that right moment when the user is interested in it. Imagine um, sponsored recommendations in Flipora, which is how we intend to monetize going forward, where say you write a great piece uh, on searchenginejournal.com. Uh, and um, we know that it's gonna be interesting to every user who's interested in uh, search engine technology, ranking, and so, so on. So you could potentially buy an ad on flipora.com and say, uh, show this ad to all users in the world who are interested in uh, search engine uh, technology. And we could do that. So we see, an, see a reader reading an article on um, search engine optimization on say, um, I don't know, on say Wired. We would then recommend uh, Murray's article, and if it is uh, interesting to that user, it'll get even more uh, rec um, traffic. And are you a, are you a toolbar plugin? How do how do you uh, how do you stay connected with a um, user's intent? So uh, we get signals through two ways. Number one is when users download the Flipora add-on, and when you download the Flipora add-on, 
it gives us a lot of data on what websites a user likes and helps us personalize stuff really, really well. Number two is we have Facebook. So for people who don't want to download an add-on, they can just connect with Facebook, in which case Flipora will analyze the history of websites that a user has shared, liked, and posted on Facebook, and we build a profile that way. And one interesting aspect of what we observe between toolbar-based personalization versus Facebook-based personalization is that people are generally more true to their interests when we use the web browsing history data. Like, there is a lot of stuff you might be interested in, but you would never share on Facebook, right? right. Imagine, like, uh, you are uh, you have you are very strongly libertarian, and maybe all your friends are Democrats or something, right? You may not want to engage in a flame war on Facebook, so you would never share stuff like that. Um, or maybe, um, or maybe that you have a favorite. Uh, maybe you like Megan Fox, and there's, there are these awesome photo shoots of hers coming out. You're less likely to be sharing it a lot in Facebook, I imagine. But when you use the web browsing history data, we know that you're interested in this, and we'll give you a great uh, website recommendation that's uh, related to those interests. So there's less observer bias, like people are more uh, true to who they are. So uh, Flipora endorses Megan Fox, that's the headline for this piece, no? <laughs> <laughs> like one uh, secret, like VJ and I named our first um, server Megan, <laughs> after Megan Fox. <laughs> Fantastic, if you want to find out more information and connect with you, how do they do that? Uh, sign up at uh, flipora.com and uh, download the add-on, connect with Facebook, and discover the web like never before. And what's your uh, Twitter handle? Uh, it's at Flipora. And you answer that? Uh, I'm uh, at John Sid, J-O-N-S-I-D-D. -D. Fantastic, thank you very much. Murray Newlands with Search Engine Journal. I'll see you next time.